Good morning. Let me. Hi, you guys. Welcome to another video. Um, I have not picked up my camera in so long to vlog. I really do miss it. I really do miss it. But I honestly don't know why I picked it up right now because I'm not doing nothing. It is like 8 o'clock in the morning, y'all. And I just got up. Well, I haven't just got up. I got up, did my devotional and stuff. Um, you know, spent my time with God doing a little Bible studying and stuff. Um, and I'm about to clean up my kitchen, y'all. But let me show y'all because I haven't really been active on youtube as far as like doing a vlog and stuff like that but i have been trying to build up my audience on tiktok so i'm gonna show y'all what i did in one second let me take my vitamin real quick i'm about to take that y'all i picked up these um skinny apple cider vinegar um gummies and you have to take two a day they're supposed to help with like weight loss um it support weight loss and weight loss management it supports digestion detox and cleansing appetite suppressant helps boost me metabolism or whatever we'll see i just got them the other day mm. they're good but Mmm. They good, but you can taste the apple cider a little bit. So, I picked those up because I was taking two tablespoons of apple cider shots every morning. Y'all, let me tell y'all how the first time, the first time I took the apple cider shots, I did not d dilute it with water. Your girl. Your girl was on fire. My stomach was on fire. And I'm not talking about for like seconds or minutes. It was on fire, but my stomach was burning for at least an hour. And I kept trying to flush it out with water and stuff or like try to eat something. Baby, don't do that. Do not take pure apple cider shots. You have to dilute it with water. I see some people put lemon juice in there. So I just drink mine with water. But I got the gummies. So hopefully the gummies kind of do the same thing i really didn't feel no difference when i was doing the apple cider vinegar i was doing it twice a day i did it in the morning and then i did one um before i ate dinner that night but i honestly didn't see anything um y'all i got on the scale yesterday at my grandma house and i only lost a pound <laughs> but i was so excited that i lost that one pound because i mean like okay something's working i really haven't been consistent with my workouts like I don't go work out every day but I do try to make sure that I'm working out a few times out the week so yeah that's what I've been doing and I've been watching what I eat um for the most part I still have my days where I just have like fat days I ain't gonna lie but my most important thing was staying off of junk food because I do snack a lot and just trying to like eat more chicken instead of beef or stuff like that. I'm not really a pork eater anyway. I don't really fool around with the pork unless mostly ribs. So, um, yeah, y'all. But I just wanted to get on here and say good morning. I don't have anything planned today. Today is February 19th. Halloween. President's Day. Um, so I'm off of work and my kids are off of school again. Like these kids miss too much school. Like we used to be in school for everything. These kids miss too much school. I am just about to clean my kitchen. Um, wash my dishes and stuff because we didn't do that last night. Well, I didn't do that last night. Hey, y'all. I don't know what today is going to bring. I did open up. Oh, let me show y'all what I did. I tried to make me a little tea station. Let me take y'all off the tripod. I made a tea station. I have a lot of work to do. But I started and I like so far. Hold on. Let me show y'all. So this is the little station here. 
I just have some honey, my little lemon um, container, and I have some little snacks. These are um, macarons, vanilla kind. My kids really like these, but I bought them just for my tea thing. And then I got some strawberry waffles the little mini waffles just for a little snack you know when you have your tea and then y'all i redid my drawer and i really like how it turned out so i have all my tea he oops so i have all of my tea here and i have some listen y'all if y'all don't have these um stroop waffles that you can sit on top of like your tea or your coffee in the morning those are so good i had i got them as a christmas gift from one of my um friends and baby i'm so addicted to them they just go so good with your tea in the morning and then i have some honey spoons these honey spoons here are um whiskey infused so that's for like a hot toddy and just some little snacks y'all and i really like it i still have to make some adjustments i um because y'all can see i have my trash trash bag still back there but i did see at home goods that they let me turn i miss cooking up my camera i kind of miss editing really y'all so. um what was i saying what was I saying? Oh, I seen like this wood wood organizer for like the trash bags, Ziploc bags, aluminum foil and stuff like that. So I'm going to pick that up. Let me show y'all my drawers. So this is my next project. Look at this. I don't know where all of my silverware went. I picked these up yesterday from uh, Home Goods, y'all. And this is the goal that I am doing in my kitchen. So, I already got in my shopping cart for Amazon, like, these gold silverware with the black little utensil tray for the drawer. So, I just saw these and I thought to pick them up. Because I'm going to get rid of all this stuff in this drawer and make it more pleasing, appealing to the eye. Because it's just a mess. And I don't know if y'all have little kids, but I promise y'all my kids be throwing away my silverware. Because we are down to, like, four forks and two spoons. And I'm not even going to buy none. I'm not going to buy none. I will get some when I um, redo my drawer. So, yeah, y'all. I am just about to um, wash these dishes and, yeah, wash the dishes and um, probably tighten up my living room a little bit. And I am going to go on a walk today. I want to go for a walk, so hopefully it's not, because I didn't work out today. I worked out yesterday morning, um, but I don't want to work out today. I kind of just want to go for a nice walk, so hopefully it's not too cold outside. I was thinking about taking my kids to the park, and then I can just walk around the park a little later. Um, but anyway, I want to walk today, so good morning. Glad to see you guys again, or glad to be talking to you guys again. I'm about to wash these dishes, these dishes, y'all. And y'all see my hair done already grew back. Like it has grown back so fast. I still haven't done nothing to it, y'all. But I don't think it looked bad. Like I like the fact that I can just get up and go. Um, I still look put together. I can throw me on a little headband. With a few little, with, you know, with some eyelashes, a little lip gloss, you'll be alright. You'll be on about your way. Um, so that's what I like about this. And, yeah. So, let me wash these dishes because y'all know I just be talking. Be talking, talking, talking. Y'all, I added some mirrors back there. Um, because we are doing the dining area. So, my fiance is finna get gonna order the table set this week well the table we're getting rid of this table and stuff and i thought that i was gonna like the mirrors but i honestly don't think i like them because like the arch here i don't know let me show y'all real quick so like you, oops let me see so like the arch here is like 
the mirror comes from under the arch and I think that's what's annoying me the most but this space is like I need the mirrors to be out here because the dining room is like you know that's like the width of the dining room so I don't know if I should add like a tree well not an olive branch tree um, to kind of divide the living room and the dining room I will see if I'm going to do that once we get the other table. Um, if I don't like it, I'm going to take these mirrors down because I'm not liking the mirrors like I thought I was going to. So, yeah. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But this is my busy calendar, y'all. Don't mind the mess. I have nothing but all of my kids' schedules, my daughter literally have something to do every day out the week so and now they will be starting taekwondo next week so that is something that they'll be doing after school tuesday and yeah y'all so um let me get started with these dishes because i keep talking to y'all Okay, y'all, I just finished doing my dishes. I'm just checking. Thank you so much. I am just about to spend a few minutes working on my project. I haven't worked on it in uh, like a week. And just because I was trying to like get my brain flowing um so with this project i want to take my time i don't want to rush it because i want everything to be intentional i want it to be delivered um from a place of healing and inspiration and stuff like that so i want to take my time i don't want to just rush and put things together um just to produce it so I'm taking my time on this because I want it to be something that people feel good about. Feel good about when I when they receive it or whatever. So, um, yeah, I'm going to spend a few minutes doing this. And then, y'all, I don't know. Um, like I said, I might go for a walk while I want to go for a walk. So, that is in today's plan. Um, other than that, I really don't have much of anything planned for today. I think I do kind of want to play in some makeup and just, I don't know, get some pictures or something. But um, I'm about to do this, you guys. My computer, I mean, my camera battery is going dead. So, yeah. I will pick y'all back up later. Hey y'all, so as y'all can see, I am at the park. It's like 3.45 y'all. I literally just got back from the store and was like, okay, let me take the kids to the um, park for a little bit, let them out the house. And it feel, it was like 43-ish. The sun was kind of shining when I was on my way to the store, so I was kind of hyped to get them to the park, but it's a little cold now. But, um, they'll be all right because they playing. I am about to turn on one of my podcasts. 
Um, let me see what I'm listening to, y'all. Um, I'm gonna listen to Michael Todd. I've been listening to his um sermons. He's he is a good pastor. Um, the only thing about him is his sermons be really really long, and sometimes I don't be having the time to listen to them. <clears throat> for that long but since i'm here i'm about to walk um i'm just gonna walk a few times around the park and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and listen to them y'all i broke my airpods and i refuse to buy more so i don't know i really want those beats um headphones so i think i'm gonna try to invest in some of them but yeah i don't know about no airpods right now um, so I'm about to go ahead and walk y'all, get my body moving because I'm a little cold. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. y'all i had to take a break so i can tell y'all hold on let me pause this so i can tell y'all about the message in the podcast that i was listening to so first of all it's called fresh fruit so he is basically talking about um how you need to bear fruit in whatever situation that you're in for example, if you are at a job that you don't like, you need to have a grateful attitude um, for that job. You need to inspire others or uplift others while you're there at that job. What type of fruit are you leaving in the situation that you're in so that God can bless you and take you to your next level? You okay? Don't throw no sand. Um yeah so it's just really good and i wanted to share that with y'all because the other day when i was um organizing my tea station i was making a, a tiktok video and i started not to post it because it wasn't appealing to the eye like my kitchen and stuff is not modern um so i mean if i wanted it to look modern i can do i know how to go out and get the stuff and enhance it but i'm not gonna be at this apartment for long so i don't feel like putting in the work there however i am i am very 
I am very grateful for my apartment, so I make do with what I have. Um, but I was just saying in the video, if you do not follow me on TikTok, go over there and follow me. My name is She is LaShonda. Um, let me see. Make sure y'all go over there and follow me on all my platforms because I am trying to. This is my TikTok. Oops. This is my TikTok, you guys. Hopefully y'all can see it. Um, go and follow me. She is LaShonda. Um, but in that video, I was just talking about how sometimes we let society kind of distract us from where we at in our life right now for from the things that we have and um from the things that we have going on because we look at other people lives who oh so cute who's living you know in these new modern apartments with um skyline views ocean views and stuff like that and sometimes it's discouraging but i wanted to remind people to um wanted to remind people to you see the dog it's a nice dog yeah sorry y'all so i wanted to just remind people to be grateful for what it is that you have right now always thank god for what you have because there is always somebody who do not have what you have and who will be grateful for what you have so while you looking at someone else and admiring their life and their blessings and what they have and what they living in or what they driving you are um you are missing out on your blessing because it's not about what you have it's about living in the moment and being grateful for in the moment and it's about making the best out of what you have and just remembering that there's someone worse off than you so uh, when he was saying you know as i was listening to the sermon it kind of just took me back to that video and i just wanted to share that with y'all because sometimes you know we we look at instagram we look at tiktok and everything looks appealing to the eye and you never know what situation people are in you never know um you know what they went through to get the things that they have or what they even going through everybody ain't happy that appeared to be happy you know what i'm saying and i'm not saying that like everybody who has something is unhappy i'm just saying like you never know a situation that someone is in and don't let a picture perfect image make you feel like you're less than or you have no value or to be ungrateful for what you have because it's a blessing so be fruitful in whatever situation that you're in and god will multiply that fruit for you he will definitely multi multiply it and um as long as you as long as we i'm sorry y'all i'm cold as long as we um show gratitude and stay humble and be good stewards in his world we are going to be blessed okay we are definitely going to be blessed so i just want to share that with y'all but it's called i'm going to get my kids um back home because everybody knows it's running at this point my baby is having fun but he's cold i should have probably put his snow pants on and his gloves or his mittens but yeah y'all um i just want to share that with y'all and if y'all don't listen to um michael todd i i listen to a different um people on my podcast like i have a list of um different podcast shows if y'all would like to you know get some ideas i don't mind sharing them with y'all um he's a good pastor i like him because he's down to earth he's very um trans <laughs> uh, he's very um transparent in what it is that he say so i really like and i really enjoy listening to him he's young um he's a little like wild but everything just kind of all tie in with his sermon so yeah be careful so yeah y'all i'm about to get ready and go because it's freezing a monkey down the side Whee! let me see go put your monkey on the slide again put your monkey on the slide wait oh wait i missed it
it. One, two, three. Whee. He just getting dirty. Dirty. Come on, Bubba. Move out the way. You and George. Oh, <laughs>